Hello everyone and welcome back to another year five and six English tutorial. Today we are looking at a very common spelling error that people make in their writing and that is spelling homophones that have both a CE and an SE ending correctly in their writing. So we're talking about words like practice and practice or advice, advise and advise okay that sound very similar but have two different spellings and two different meanings okay so we're going to look at how to be able to tell apart which one is which and how to spell each one so the rule goes that normally the words that have the se ending are the verb forms and the words that have the ce endings are normally the noun form Okay, so over here we have got the word practice with an SE ending. So the SE ending gives us a clue that that is going to be the verb form. Okay, so that means that it, we would find before it a subject somewhere, something doing the practicing. Okay, so let's have a look at our sentence here. I can see my verb practice. Okay, and before it I can see someone doing the practicing. It is I. I practice, it's being used as a verb, it's something that I'm doing, so it is going to have the SE ending. On this side, with the word also pronounced practice, but this time with a CE ending, it is being used as a noun, which means that it might have an adjective or a determiner before it. So I can see my word, uh, my word here, practice, and I know that it is a thing because it's got an adjective before it. We don't normally think of, of football as an adjective, but it's describing what type of practice it was. It was football practice. It is a thing, it's an event that we're going to. So it is a noun, so it would have the CE ending. Another big clue is that practice with a CE will only ever be practice spelt like this, or practices with an S on the end, like she missed lots of practices, okay? Practice like this could be practice like this. It could have an S on the end. It could have an ED ending. It could have, we could drop the E and have an ING ending. So this one has got a lot more forms that you might find, okay? Let's have a look at another example. So we've, this time we've got advise and advice. So normally there is a slight pronunciation difference in these two, but very, very very, very subtle, so very hard to tell the difference between them. <coughs> so we've got here the word advise, and the sentence I've got here is the doctor advised, so I've slightly changed the form here, the doctor advised that I get plenty of rest. So there is my verb, advised, and I can see, is there someone doing that? Yes, there is, there's the doctor. So the doctor is doing the advising, so this is being used as a verb, so I've correctly used the S-E, the form of the verb. <coughs> Sorry, I've just got something catching in my throat. And then over here, we've got advice, and it says, will you listen to his advice? So I can see my word here, and I know that this is being used as a noun, because this time I can see that there is a determiner in front of it. Okay, and this time it means advice, it means the thing, a suggestion, it's a thing that he's giving. So will you listen to his advice, to his suggestion? Okay, whereas in this case, it's the doctor suggested that I get plenty of rest. It's something that he is doing rather than something that he is giving. Okay, so if you just remember when you're thinking about these words, S-E is a verb if someone is doing it, and CE is for a noun if it is a person, a place, a thing, or an idea. So let's have a look at your challenge. The best way to get used to using these is to use them in lots of different sentences, to get used to which ones go where. So that is exactly what we are going to do now. So I have written, eight different sentences. Now, there are only a few words that this rule applies to anyway, okay? Because there are only a few homophones where there are two different uh, two different versions with either an SE or a CE ending. And the ones that I've used in these sentences are the most common ones, okay? 
So I'll read out what the sentences are for you, okay? And what you will need to do is choose the correct form of the word, choose the correct homophone from the brackets, okay? So the first sentence says, the government advice is to stay at home. We can practice to help us improve. The smartphone is, phone is a very useful device. James Bond is licensed to kill. The team devised the plan to beat them. She lost her driving license. All this practice has been invaluable and she has been advised to call a lawyer. So if you pause the video there, have a go at choosing the correct option from the, the brackets. And in a moment, replay the video and I will show you what you should have had. Okay, so let's have a look at what we should have had for these. So it says, the government advice is to stay home. Okay, now in this sentence, it is something that the government is giving. The government advice, it is a thing, so it should have been the C-E ending. If I'd said the government advised us to stay home, then it would have been an S-E-D ending. But in this case, it is C-E. Here it says we can practice to help us improve. So the practice is something that we are doing. It is being used as a verb. So it should have been the S-E ending. The next one, the smartphone is a very useful device. In this case, it is a thing, a device, an invention. So it would be the C-E ending. James Bond is licensed to kill. Okay, that is <coughs> being used as the verb form. So that would be an S-E-D ending. Okay, the next one, the team devised a plan to beat them. It's something that the team have done. So it is a verb devised, so it would be the S-E. And then we've got, she lost her driving license. Your driving license is a thing. So that would be a CE ending. Here we've got all this practice has been invaluable. In this sentence, practice is being talked about as a thing. So all this practice. So that is going to be our CE ending. And in that final sentence, it says she has been advised to call a doctor. And that would be a SED ending because it is something that is being done. Now you can remember that in this example, in this example, those words don't exist at all in any way because you would never get the CED on advised and you would never get a CED on licensed either. So that should have been a big clue on those ones for you. Now that rule is a really tricky rule for people to understand. It is a rule that you will see get broken lots of times in writing. So all I can advise you to do is to practice using it, devise a way of remembering it and look out for places where you see people getting it wrong in books and certainly online. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you for tomorrow's writing challenge and you'll be able to maybe use some of those words correctly in what we write tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye.